What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, and today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to spot some contamination within your grows. So, before we get started, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. We're over 1,300 subscribers so far, guys. Yesterday was a crazy day. I was freaking out. We did over 50 subscribers just yesterday alone. Not my highest. 60 is my highest, but still, that is really, really awesome to see, guys. Thank you so much for all the support and everything like that. And with that... Let's get into this video. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. If you guys haven't joined my Discord, be sure to join. The link is below in the description, guys. Uh, we almost have 200 people in there. I think we got like 160. So we're climbing towards that goal of 200. Uh, there's probably something else I wanted to say and forgot. I got a bunch of videos coming along. Uh, I, oh, one of the big news is tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video on the whole birthing and flushing process. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to stick around. And with that, let's begin. All right, so the first thing you probably are going to notice is this isn't fully colonized. Now, this was from a grow that I did that didn't do well. Um, it didn't take off. It only halfway colonized, and then it kind of faded out. And uh, this was a golden teacher, and it was from a... Um, a grow that had uneven spore distribution and uh, it kind of died off. Now, I set out to revive it and I, I say I did a pretty good job seeing as it was starting to grow up here. But I said, you know what? I said, let's take it one step further. I said, let's try to contaminate that so I can make a video showing people what some sort of contamination looks like. Now, there's all different types of contamination um, and you get contamination from bacteria. Uh, now, the bacteria and the mycelium, uh, the bacteria will eventually take over and kill this whole thing, but it will still continue to grow, actually, um, as is. It, it will actually fruit, um, but the quality of the mushrooms will, will be greatly decreased, greatly. Um, and uh, I don't recommend even eating them, honestly. Uh, but they will actually still produce fruit. They will still... Uh, have mushrooms. So let's check out what some of this contamination might look like. So as you probably see here, let me try to grab this really good. As you can see, oh man, I don't like the colors of this. You can see that little patch right there. That's actually green. Um, let me see if I can kind of get the light in a little bit darker, maybe. Maybe darker. Let's go down here. Oh, okay, so that's a little better. So you can see that green patch right here, and there's actually a little bit of frostiness right here. This was the top of the jar right here. You can see that little spider webbing right there. Um, but I think this is all I actually managed to get. Let me take this out of the camera. Oh, that's a good that's a good view of it right there in the middle. Let me try to uh, take this out of camera view so I can look at it around. Um, right down there, actually, it's hard to see on here, but it's actually starting to turn green right there, too. Um, and let me look around a little bit. So it looks like that's all there is on this jar right here. Now you could just cut them parts out. Um, but it'll probably come back. Um, it's almost guaranteed to come back, honestly, but uh, there's a little bit more right there, but this will fruit. I'm going to actually throw it in my fruiting chamber and I'm just going to see what happens. Not the brand new one that I made a video of showing you guys. Actually, I'm going to be modifying that one. Um, my hands are all wet. I'm wearing gloves for this. I'm going to actually modify that chamber. I'm going to show you guys how to modify it so you can make it more, uh, uh, more simpler, I guess you could say, um, uh, less you involved is how I guess I would put it, but I need to get a couple more things for it. Um, so anyway, so guys, that's just a little, a, a little little look at it um so there's all different types they come in different sizes different colors and everything like that this is just one type um so this is probably the most common that you'll see too um so anyways though guys if you guys like this type of content be sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time keep on growing keep on smoking and i'll catch you guys in the next episode see you later